This year, a big goal for me was to... I cannot keep him out of these. Hi everyone, welcome back to Handmade, I'm Danielle. This year, a big goal for me was to cut back on single-use items, and the kitchen seemed like a great place to start. So today, I'm sharing some of my favorite sustainable swaps for food and grocery items. Let's get started. Okay, so I went on a lot of picnics this year, and I have to be honest, every time I kept reaching for plastic bags, and I know that's a habit that I need to break. I have a small collection of the silicone reusable bags, which I love, but they never seem to be available when I need them. Today's project was inspired by the turkey sandwich. My favorite meal of all time, I could eat that every single day. So from now on, when I go on these picnics and I pack my turkey sandwich, I need a more sustainable way to transport it. So I got to thinking. I have a little stash of dishcloths that I can never seem to bring myself to clean with because they are too pretty. So I thought I would put them to good use and make a few sandwich wraps out of them. This sandwich wrap is a super simple DIY. All you need is a button, some twine, and a cotton dish towel. Mine measures in at 12 by 12. There's a good chance you may already have all of these items on hand at home. First, I'm sewing the button on the right side, and by right side, I mean pretty side of one corner. I'm making sure that I leave at least 36 inches of slack. It's important to make sure there's plenty of twine left over to wrap around the sandwich. Make sure that when you thread on your button, you double knot. Okay, so the button's sewn on, and honestly, it's that simple. All I need now is my sandwich. Place the sandwich in the middle of the dishcloth and fold each corner inward, alternating opposite sides. Leave the corner with the button for last. As I fold the corners inward, I'm also being sure to carefully tuck the cloth into the sandwich to make sure it's nice and protected. Okay, last corner, the button is going to fold down and almost resemble an envelope. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Now I'm just gonna take the twine and wrap it around a few times. When you reach the end of your slack, make sure you leave enough room to wind it around the button. I think we can all agree, this is the most stylish turkey sandwich ever. If you liked the sandwich wrap, you'll probably also love these reusable beeswax food wraps. These beeswax food wraps are both stylish and eco-friendly. What's not to love? The process is pretty easy. Just melt the wax, and then just cut squares of cotton fabric using pinking shears so it doesn't fray. When the wax is ready, put on a pair of gloves and dip your fabric into the melted wax and hang to dry. Now you're ready to wrap. Use these food wraps for fruit, cheese, or even sealing up leftovers. The possibilities are endless. I really want to tell you about one of my favorite sustainable items for food. I didn't make it, but my sister got it for me for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. It is a market tote. It has plenty of pockets that you can put produce, a carton of eggs, and what I really love about it is that it's got this special little slot for flowers here. It's on the outside rather than the inside so that the water doesn't drip. It is amazing how much you can fit in this thing. I never leave the house without it anymore. And I've really been able to cut out the plastic bags they give you at the store. Highly recommend. However, if you don't have a grocery tote at home, never fear, you can easily upcycle an old t-shirt and make a market bag of your own. Or better yet, make several in no time at all. Watch this. It's amazing how many different things you can make from an old t-shirt. One of my favorites being the market bag. Cut off the sleeves, and then cut around the collar. The collar will be the opening for your bag. Now fold in half and even the shirt up by trimming it a bit. And then cut the hem off the bottom. Now for the fun part, add fringe. And there you have it. This t-shirt just got a major upgrade to a tote bag. Another thing I can no longer live without are real napkins. I don't know why it took me so long to make this change. You can get them in cotton, linen, there are so many options out there. Not only is it better for the planet, but I think it makes simple meals at home feel really special. 
Now, I bought my napkins in store, but if you love to sew, making a set of reusable napkins would be a great project for you. And a great way to use up old fabric. These napkins are reversible to fit whatever style or mood you may be in. This project would be a great way to use up old scrap fabric. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could also whip these napkins up by hand. Go crazy, make a custom set of napkins for every holiday or event. I encourage it. I recently got a set of wooden utensils and bamboo straws that I can take with me on my picnics or on the go, but I'm lacking a way to carry them. So once again, I'm going to use dish towels to make a utensil pouch. To make the utensil pouch, you'll need a 12 by 12 dish towel, twine, a button, a needle, thread to match the fabric, and having an iron close by is very helpful. To get started, lay your dish towel flat with the pretty side facing the back. Now fold up the bottom about four inches. To make the seams, iron over that pocket a few times. Make sure that you're getting this pocket precise. The lines that the iron creates help when sewing it up. Now take the needle and twine and start sewing the sides. I'm gonna be honest with you, I am no expert in sewing. In fact, I barely know how. To sew this utensil pouch up, I'm going to do a simple whip stitch. Start by double knotting, and then just go up and over. It comes together very quickly. Basically, it's like you're just looping around and around. When you reach the top, double knot, and then repeat on the opposite side. To make the pockets, I'm going to use a white needle and thread because I want this part to be a little more hidden. This is a 12 inch dish towel and I need four pockets. So each pocket will be three inches. Fold the towel in half and iron. Find your seam in the middle and then repeat with another whip stitch. Fold each side in towards the middle Find your seams, and you guessed it, whip stitch. To finish this off, I'm going to use a button and some twine. Flip the dish towel over to the pretty side and place the button just above one side where the twine is. Thread the button through, double knot, and leave yourself about 14 inches of slack. Add your utensils and straws and roll it up. To finish, just wrap the twine around the cloth and the button. I think this dish towel has earned the right to start calling itself a chic utensil pouch. Okay, I couldn't share all these projects with you without confessing my worst offender, and that is paper towels. I just, oh, it's so hard for me to break this habit. But I know to be kinder to the planet, it's something that I need to do. Luckily, I know a great DIY for that. I love the unpaper towel trend. It's such a great way to cut back on waste. In this video, some friends of ours at HGTV used old flannel sheets to make reusable towels. Brilliant. All you need to do is cut the fabric into squares, sew up the squares, add snaps on each corner, and then use a plastic needlework canvas as the base to roll the towels together. If you can't sew, hi that's me, add snaps to dish towels. We really are saving the world one dish towel at a time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video for sustainable kitchen DIYs. We truly covered a lot, from unpaper towels to utensil pouches to food wraps. One small swap out can make a huge difference for the planet. What area of the house would you like to see us tackle next? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. We'll see you later. Bye.